Hi guys, so it's Saturday. Yeah, today's Saturday. If you guys haven't noticed, we like tend to put up our um, vlogs either Friday nights or Saturday mornings. So then for us, like we start the vlog from the Saturday of the week previous, but whatever. Um, so, hi, I'm trying to work on an essay for school. It's my last essay ever. Can you believe that? I'm really like crazy because the rest of um, the semester I don't have any other essays to do, but I have a lot of group work, a lot of group work, and somehow I ended up being the team captain in both of the groups. That somehow always happens to me. I try to like pull back and let other people take the lead, but then no one steps up or I think their ideas suck. And then I kind of volunteer myself because like I'd rather get a good grade and be inconvenienced than have someone else do it. You know what I mean? So, hi Edward. He's like, I want to be in the vlog. But anyway, so Chris is still asleep. It's kind of late. It's like 1130. He's been having trouble sleeping as he mentioned in the last vlog. And I get up at 830. I used to get up at 930, but now I get up at 830 and kind of do whatever I want until 930. And then I start my day. So, that's what I've been doing. What have you been doing? What do you do in your free time? I've just been like engrossed in schoolwork and YouTube videos, trying to find ways to improve and promote and stuff. And, you know, to finish the semester with a good GPA, because the last two semesters, my grades haven't been what they normally are, because I've just been so preoccupied and I haven't honestly given school as much of a push uh, since I knew that I wasn't really... Like, I did learn a lot in my degree, but I'm not pertaining it towards my job per se. I mean, I, I mean, my degree is marketing, so I did learn a lot that helped me with my blog and my videos and stuff. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, now that I know exactly what I'm going to do and I don't need a degree to do it, I haven't been pushing myself as much, which is bad because I still want to get my money's worth and get, you know, a good GPA. But my GPA has gone down a lot recently. I used to be... Um, an A student. I had a 3.5 GPA for, well, I alternated between a 3.7 and a 3.5 for most of my college career. And then when I started making videos, it dropped to a, a 3.1. So that's still really good, but I don't know. I kind of miss being on the Dean's list. It made me feel special. But anyway, so I need to get working on this essay. It's going to be kind of hard. I have to do, um, it has, it's on a, a bunch of different things, things to do with our entrepreneurs, uh, Porter, Porter's Five Forces of Competition, Break-Even Analysis, Product Life Cycle Analysis, and SWOT Analysis. I have to explain all of those, and they're not very complicated. It's just going to take a lot of time, so I better get started. This is my lunch for today. I meant to take a picture. I've been doing that a lot because like, it, it remembers. Edward! You're the star, okay? Shut up. Anyway, this is my lunch. I meant to take a picture of it for Instagram, so I guess I'll go do that now. Aw, no. damn, no, do it again! No, I'm done. Damn it! <laughs> uh, uh, hello? Is anyone there? <laughs> Ooh, chocolate milk? I love some. What's that? There's no more. Why am I happy here? Ran to press record. Do I really want to leave in this rain? No. At least I have an umbrella, but I don't think it's gonna do too well in this. Look at that. So that was a no-go. I walked maybe less than a minute and the umbrella did not protect me at all. The rain was just going sideways like crazy. Sorry, I'm like looking in the mirror. But um, yeah, so look what happened to my back. It's entirely wet, entirely. It's ridiculous. And then my book bag is drenched. I'm drenched. And I'm hungry. So this sucks. I guess I'm going to have to wait here for a while. So, yeah. I hope it's not as rainy where you guys live. 
It's been pretty intense rain the past few weeks. So, well. So, uh, I'm making my lunch for tomorrow because I have a really big day tomorrow. I'm going to be at school for a really long time. And I need to bring food with me because school food and cafeteria food is really expensive. So I wanted to share with you guys something that I do that most people don't think of but actually tastes really delicious. So, I have here some crackers, peanut butter, jelly, cracker sandwich. Now, you wouldn't think that just normal crackers, the ones that we have, um, would taste good as a sandwich, but they do. It's really delicious. Don't dock it till you try it. I used to not, um, uh, what's it called, I know Lunchables. They used to have a lunch bowl a really long time ago that was peanut butter and jelly crackers, and I thought that was really gross, but when I tried it, I really loved it. You just have to be very careful, because uh, obviously these are delicate, so when you're putting it on, you can't be too rough. And you always have to have a napkin around you, because you're guaranteed to have jelly fall out of the cracker <laughs> and onto your shirt. So make sure you have a napkin. So try that the next time you're packing a lunch or need a light snack because it tastes really delicious. So, uh, I'm making my lunch for tomorrow because I have a really big day tomorrow. I'm going to be at school for a really long time and I need to bring food with me because school food and cafeteria food is really expensive. So I wanted to share with you guys something that I do that most people don't think of but actually tastes really delicious. So, I have here some crackers, peanut butter, jelly, cracker sandwich. Now, you wouldn't think that just normal crackers, the ones that we have, um, would taste good as a sandwich, but they do. It's really delicious. Don't dock it till you try it. I used to not, um, uh, what's it called, I know Lunchables. They used to have a lunch bowl a really long time ago that was peanut butter and jelly crackers, and I thought that was really gross, but when I tried it, I really loved it. You just have to be very careful, because uh, obviously these are delicate, so when you're putting it on, you can't be too rough, and you always have to have a napkin around you, because you're guaranteed to have jelly fall out of the cracker <laughs> and onto your shirt. So make sure you have a napkin. So try that the next time you're packing a lunch or need a light snack, because it tastes really delicious. Hi everyone, I'm being exfoliated by Rebecca Siam's attorney at law. So what? here we go. Uh, sorry. So what are we doing here? What is this? Well, I already finished this elbow, so I'll show you on the other one. But Chris here. has really ashy, dry elbows. Yeah. More this? so here. Take well, you can't really. Yeah. Like, I See, look right here. I don't know what happened. I was born this way. <laughs> like Gaga told me. But yeah, it's like really, I don't know if it can pick up, but it's like really yeah, ashy. Yeah, it's really ashy and dry. Nasty, nasty. So, see, this one, she just put various oils on it. But um, yeah, I'm really like nasty and, oh, sorry, it's kind of hard to do this. But I'm really nasty and like oily and stuff. And oh man, my beard is so prominent on camera. <laughs> and uh, yes, yeah, so, so we're So all I'm this. doing is putting some shower gel, shower gel, yeah. and um, a little bit of exfoliating beads. I got these from Mark a long time ago. Yeah. And you that. mix it together in this goopy mess. Look all that. And then you just rub it. Looks like stuff you put on your pizza. <laughs> like uh, peppers. Okay, so now we're doing this side. Oh, goodness. What have I gotten myself into? He has trusted me with his elbows. I trust Becca with everything. Remember that time I exfoliated your feet on camera? Yeah, that was weird. We'll link that, that video. Weird. It's very funny. Yeah, it was very awkward. Now if it was a suppository. Oh, God. <laughs> this is uncomfortable and humiliating. Now if it was a suppository. Do you guys remember what show that's from? No. It's from Futurama. Oh. That's so funny. Okay, you don't have to get that close for a long time. It looks kind of weird. Uh, it looks actually like really okay. weird. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm going to turn off the camera. Bye! Bye-bye. Hi. So, I had, um, hang on, I need to adjust my seat. I just left CBS. And I was thinking, um, when I'm in the car, I think a lot, like, all the time. And, um, I always have these deep thoughts. I don't know if that's just me. But um, I wanted to run something by you guys. Um, uh, now that I'm graduating, uh, just in a month, which is really crazy to me, 
a lot of people are, you know, of course, asking, you know, what my plans are. Like, if I plan on going to school, or if I'm going to get a job, or about an internship, you know, things like that. And um, that's definitely normal. But what's not normal is my fear in answering. Why does this angle look weird? But what I think isn't normal is how I feel when I'm about to answer these questions. I usually get anxious, I stutter, I'm just, I'm not myself when I answer. And I think that's because I'm scared of being judged. Uh, that's just always a problem that I've had, being scared uh, and, you know, wondering what people think of me. And that's, you know, it's, it's common, I imagine. But I don't think it's something that's healthy for me and something that I shouldn't be doing. Because, um, I mean, I'm going to be pursuing my dreams and doing something that's going to be making me really happy. But, you know, for a while I'm going to be uh, in a lot of financial trouble. And I'm okay with that. As long as I'm, as long as I'm happy with what I'm doing, I'm okay with, being, uh, with not having as much money as I would like. If you know what I mean. So... I'm okay with what I'm doing, and I'm totally happy and accept what I'm doing, but yet I still feel worried of what other people will think of me and if I will get their acceptance. And it's not because of, like, anything that someone has told me or anything like that, because, like, my parents and Chris, you know, everyone that really matters um, thinks, I don't know if they think it's a good idea, but at least, like, at least I think some of them think it's a good idea. Some of them may not think it's a good idea. But everyone's been accepting and um, very nice to me when I tell them what my plans are. So I shouldn't be afraid because I haven't had a bad experience. No one's told me, oh, you're stupid or anything like that. But I don't know. I still feel this, this hesitation when people ask me, oh, what are you doing? And I think I put myself in a bad position because I'm like, oh, I'm going to try, um, like I always, I say it hesitantly, like I'm going to try, um, continuing video blogging and stuff like that. And I'm like, why do I say try? And then like at the end, I'm like, oh, we'll see what happens. And you know, but that's not how I feel. Like I feel totally positive that this is what I'm going to do. Yet when I explain it to people, I explain it with hesitation and, you know, as if there were some wiggle room that I may change my mind or that it may not work out. And I don't understand why I do that. I mean, I understand that I'm afraid of being judged. It's just a fear that I have. I, I'm always worried that people are going to get the wrong impression of me. But I don't understand where that came from. So, I don't know. I just wondered what you guys thought and what do you guys do when you're in that situation or if you've overcome that fear or just how do you deal with with not necessarily not caring what people think because I do believe that what the people you love think is important. I'm not one of those kind of people that like, only what you think is what matters, which, you know, it's okay for some people, but for me, it's important to me that, you know, like Chris is on my side. So not necessarily how do I stop caring what people think, but how do I become strong. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm asking. I just, uh, if you guys have any advice, I would appreciate it. Or if you just have any thoughts that you would like to share, that would be really wonderful. So now I'm almost home. Thank goodness. It has been a really long week. I have just had so much homework and group projects and all this kinds of crazy stuff. And I haven't really had a break. It's just been work, 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 but you know, it's a mini term. So I'm doing, um, two classes in six weeks worth of time rather than 12 so of course it's going to be tough but it's just the first time I've ever done anything like this so I don't really know how to deal with it but anyway so I just got home to my lovely Chris and now I can eat I am starving 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 okay so I'll let you guys go bye hello kitty kit kit kitty look you want to be on tv you're not on TV, actually. That's stupid. Why did I say TV? Yes, you're so cute. Hi, Roxy. Hi. It's the pet cam. Do, 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 do. The pet cam. Do, 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 do. You're so sweet. Ricky, do you want to be on the pet cam? Hi. He's like, yes, yeah, just pet me. No, pet me.
Aw, love. <laughs> and now something truly amazing to show you the world's tiniest artificial heart. The Titanic pump weighs a four tenths of an ounce. That's about as much as five years. Huffing and puffing. Doctors in Italy implanted the device in a 16 month old boy who needed a new heart. That's some music for that movie. What? Oh, God, we're recording? Yeah. Hello. So, uh, we just finished watching Men in Black. Let me lower this because we don't own the rights to the song. <laughs> uh, we just uh, finished seeing the movie Men in Black 3, and um, it was quite an eye popping, spectacular 3D experience. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but uh, it does involve time travel. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff. They, they always make a Men in Black movie, it seems like a very long time. Like the first one came out in like what, 1997 I think, or six or something? And then the sequel came out in like 2003, so now we got another one in 2012. So it seems like there's one every decade. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. I didn't think it was better than the first one, but I thought it was better than the second one. I agree. Yeah, there were elements missing uh, from the film that the other movies had that I missed. I'm not gonna spoil what were missing from the other films, but you know, each movie kind of had, like if you compare part one to part two, there's things in part one that came back in part two, uh, and there's things that were referenced, and like the formula of Men in Black was very similar. This one kind of like throws the formula out the window, kind of, sort of, a little bit. Um, but it was still very fun. Uh, if I would recommend going to see it. Uh, we need to get pie at yeah, we need to get pie. And uh, what's it called? You should definitely go and um, uh, watch, watch it. it. But first, watch the first two because it's been quite some time and it'll just feel good watching all three. Also, okay. the 3D was pretty good. I don't think it was. I think, I think the beginning had more pop in your face 3D moments and then near the end they kind of like got rid of it. But it wasn't 3D that like bothered you. But it wasn't. It was 3D that was like pretty cool and subtle. And then sometimes they'd like do cool stuff. And I think it was filmed in 3D. But that's my take. What do you think? Good. All right. <laughs> Did you I thought it was up? good too. And Chris kind of said everything that I would have said. So it's hard not to. I spoil. enjoyed it. It was really fun. And bye. Is your Ow, I just smacked myself in the face. <laughs> <laughs> bubba booey, bubba booey, how are you? Hello, butterfly. Butterfly. So pretty. Where'd it go? Oh, hi. So, oop, sorry. We are walking Pinky. I hope I'm in frame. I'm always really bad at that. But he's very excited. I feel like every time I show you Pinky, he's really excited. Because I I've been I haven't been able to walk him every day. It's been like every three or four days. Because was wow. That was disgusting. He had his leg up to pee while he was taking a shit. That was the nastiest thing I have ever seen. Hello everyone, this is the end slate. If you click the video on the left, you will see our previous vlog from last week. And if you click the video on the right, you will see me massage Chris's feet and exfoliate his feet and have a very strange spa day for Chris. Now our Twitter handle is listed below as well as our websites. And if you click our face of both of us together, you're going to subscribe to this channel, DR Hatman. If you click the middle face, which is me, You'll subscribe to my channel that has beauty and lifestyle videos. And if you click on Chris's face, you'll subscribe to his comedy and video game channel. It's really funny, and I hope you guys check it out. We hope to see you soon. Bye!